Hey y'all, so I recently finished a book called Gemini and it's by Sonia something. I have no idea how to say this name. M-U-K-H-E-R-J-E-E. -E -E. You try to say that name. No idea. This is what it looks like. Okay, so I picked this up because just listen to the flap really quick. I'm not even going to read their whole thing. Very first sentence, Clara and Haley love each other and they're comfortable in their conjoined bodies. Who's not interested in a story about conjoined twins? Like how many of those do we get, right? That's not, it's like exciting in my opinion. So basically the two sisters, um, Clara and Haley are very different personalities, but have gotten along really, really well throughout their lives. They're conjoined at like the small of their back but so they each have their own torso, arms, head, you know, so they're like their own person. And then they're conjoined kind of near their tailbone sort of thing, but then they separate again. So they have their own legs. So it's literally like they don't, besides that one tiny spot in their back, they don't share, like they have their own systems inside and everything. Um, and so like, it's basically just two girls standing back to back all the time, right? So something that I liked was that you can tell the author has done research about how this would affect nervous systems and digestive systems. And she looked into conjoined twins who are successfully separated through surgery and times that are not. She had historical things about conjoined twins in here. She just really, you can tell, she looked into it. She knew what she was doing. She didn't just write this story without doing any research. So that was something that I liked. You like, it shows effort, it was clear, it made it more believable and realistic, I guess. Um, but so basically, they are seniors in high school and they've never, ever left their hometown. Their hometown is really small. Their parents relocated there when they were born when they decided to not try to do surgery to separate the twins. Um, they moved to this little town so that they could grow up in a like confined area so that there wouldn't be the shock of people seeing them all the time. So they've led a basically normal life. Obviously, they've never done things like gone skiing or ridden a bike and they haven't traveled, but for their situation, they lead a very regular life. Um, and um, I'm trying to... Basically, the plot is kind of them figuring out what to do. There's the question of surgery. There's the question of leaving their hometown. Um, the risk of being seen by the outside world. Their mother is very paranoid about media and the internet not knowing about the twins. Um, yeah. So, I don't know. It was, it was good because there was typical sister and family tension. Um, of figuring out who you are, kind of like a coming of age story, finding your place in the world. But then of course there's this whole twist of we are conjoined, right? And it was so good. I really, really liked it. Um, it was real. Like I've talked about how she did the research. So that aspect was realistic, but even like character wise, it was real. The characters weren't flat. There was depth to even like the twins friends they had specifically one in particular she had like some backstory and her own thing going on so there were these interweaving little plot lines I guess you could say like there's the overriding plot and then the subplots and they wove together very very well that's what I'm trying to say is how well they wove together um boys are involved it's kind of a coming of age learning who you are first love plus this medical twist sort of story it was all rolled into one um but I did like it like it says on the back, they are com two complete full-size people. But it was interesting because, so since they meet at their back and their spines meet, their nerves from that point down, they have their own nervous system, but because they connect in the same place before then separating again, they both feel their own feet and the other sister's feet. And part of the reason that their parents decided not to do surgery was because their digestive system inside had become twisted kind of around each other at that spot where they meet. It had been messed up as well. And so it, there were risks in the surgery. Um, but it was interesting because every so often, like kind of as a joke thing, it'd be like, I kicked her under the table, but then I felt it too. You know, silly things like that, but it makes it a little bit more lighthearted in the moment. Um, so I like that even with this really tough situation, 
there were these moments of haha, you know, whatever. Um, it was good. I liked it. I liked it a lot. And I also learned, thanks to this, that Bellatrix is a star. Um, I love Harry Potter. And so that was cool to learn. I love when I learn random little facts from just reading for fun. Um, yeah, I recommend it. It was good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't feel like it was necessarily incredibly deep, but it was a very good learning to understand yourself sort of story because one of the sisters, I'm trying not to give a lot away, one of the sisters is more timid where the other is more outgoing. And so as they are trying to figure out what to do with their lives after high school, there's the issue of I don't want to go in the world and I want to see the world, but we don't want to be separated, but maybe we do, you know, and blah, blah, blah. Um, lost my train of thought a little bit, but anyway, it was real in their personalities. Um, I thought that the parents were well written. That was good. Oh, I was talking about how one is timid, one is not. The timid one is very into astronomy. That's how I learned about the Bellatrix star. And the other sister is an artist. And so it was fun to like hear her thoughts on things like her art and whatever. Um, Cause she goes into both of their different hobbies. And it was so cool to see how well they are balanced. They're two separate people, but connected, but still they like cooperate very well and function very well. And I was trying to like, picture my life like that and I could not. Oh, there was a really good quote in here about love. I'm probably not going to be able to find it, but it was talking about how love is finding someone in the world who loves you for you and truly wants to like be there and you need them as like your support system sort of thing. And it was talking about different ways of loving, which is something I've been thinking about for a long time. Um, I heard once, I don't know how true this is, but I heard once that Eskimos had, have multiple words for love because you love pizza differently than you love your dog and you love those things very differently than you love your mother, you know? And so apparently in some languages and I, I know sign, um, I know American sign language a little bit and then I like took Spanish a tiny bit in high school. I don't really know Spanish, but I know like tiny bits. Um, and so in my very small knowledge of languages, I have been told that other languages have different words for love depending on different things. But in the Amer in English, um, we just say love for everything. Love pizza, love my dog, love my mom, love my house, you know, when it's these whole different levels. And so they have a conversation about love at one point in here and it was really, really insightful and really, really well written. So that was like a standout point for me in this book. Um, yeah, I wish I could pronounce the author's last name for you. Again, it was Sonia M-U-K-H-E-R-J-E-E. -E. Can you see it? Do you see that? How do you say that? I don't even know where she's from. Does it say in the back? I don't think it did. It talks about where she went to school and stuff. Um, yeah, she lives in San Francisco now. This is her first novel, so that's happy. Woo! Go you, Sonia. Um, and it came out in July of 2016, so it's fairly recent. Let's see who published it. Simon & Schuster. Yeah, it was Gemini. I do recommend it. Um, it was good. Again, real characters. Obviously not a common situation of being connected to your twin, but it was the coming of age and finding yourself sort of storyline. So it was really good, and I do recommend it. Keep reading.